Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be bringing you guys a wedding guest dress outfit idea video. I'm gonna be showing you 15 wedding guest dresses for spring and summer. So if you like these videos, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And also I will have everything linked in the blog post like usual, where you can find my sizes, the pieces, all the accessories, and then also any discount codes that I might have for the brands. We're gonna go ahead and jump on in. I am five foot two just for reference, but Let's go ahead and just start with this first dress. This dress is from Petal and Pup, and I do have a discount code for them, which I will put in the blog post and in the description box. But this is a dress that I got, I think maybe last summer, and it's still available. I think this dress is so, so beautiful. I love the open back detailing. It also is a really, really lightweight, flowy material, and it has the most adorable little ruffle sleeves. It's a really beautiful print as well, floral, very feminine, and it ties in the back. So I love the fit, the silhouette, the length of this dress on me. I feel like it looks so good with a little woven bag. And then I've got on some white heels from Madewell, but this one would be so beautiful for like an outdoor spring wedding, summer wedding, anything like that. I feel like this dress is perfectly right between like semi-formal and more like casual. So you could definitely wear this to a little bit of a nicer wedding, but if it's a more casual wedding, you can still get away with this dress. Next up is this black dress from Abercrombie. And I think this would be the most perfect dress if you're going to a hot summer wedding because black hides everything. I also personally think you can never go wrong with a black dress at a wedding. It's just classic, it's classy. This one I would say wouldn't pass for a formal wedding just because of the material. It's a very lightweight cotton. However, I think it would be perfect for semi-formal. And again, I think this would hide any sweat stains, any sweat marks you may have when you're dancing on the dance floor. So. I am obsessed with the fit of this dress. I love the plunging neckline, the ties in the front to bring it into spring and summer. I've got on these raffia heels that are very, very high. So if you're planning on dancing, I would recommend taking these off before you hit the dance floor. However, they are so cute and they make your legs look so long. And then I've got on my Gucci chain wallet. This is one of my most worn designer bags of all time. I love this bag because you can slip your cards into it. It also has a chain that detaches. So say you get tired of carrying around your bag as a clutch you can just pop the chain on and wear it as a crossbody i also feel like it's a great bag to dress up or down so it's a perfect wedding clutch but also a great weekend bag so this is my next look this next dress is from petal and pup and i love the shape of this dress i feel like it's so elegant i will say this one does run a little bit small so be sure to check out the blog post for my sizing on this but i love the ruffles in it it's super super fun it would be a great dress to dance in because it has so much good movement it has a high low kind of asymmetrical skirt to it and i think this would probably pass as like semi-formal i've got to be totally honest i have i don't think i've ever been to like an actual formal wedding so i don't have a ton of formal dresses however i think this is one of the more dressy semi-formal dresses that I do have to show you guys. I love this dress with black accessories. So I've got on some black heels from Madewell and then my Chanel double flap. I feel like this bag specifically just kind of elevates and dresses up any look, makes it a little bit more nighttime formal attire. So this is the next dress and I just think it's so, so flattering. This next dress I feel like could pass as formal if you're short like I am. So with formal weddings, you typically want to wear floor length dresses or longer dresses. And this one, if you're like around five foot two, maybe like five foot four max, I feel like could pass as a formal wedding dress. At the same time, I really do think that this dress could be semi-formal as well, depending on how you accessorize it. So if you wear more like beachy accessories, this could be a really great wedding guest dress to go to the beach. It could also be just an outdoor wedding guest vibe. Honestly, this dress I feel like is a really fluid dress as far as like wearing it at semi-formal or formal, but because it is floor length and because it has this really elegant neckline, I do feel like this could pass as formal. I would maybe just switch out your bag for some kind of nicer clutch and maybe do like a nice updo or something like that to kind of dress it up, but it's a super, super comfortable dress. I also love the fact that a lot of 
the weight of the skirt is at the very bottom, which makes it very, very flowy and very fun to dance in. I feel like being able to dance in your dress is really important. If you're like me and you like to be on the dance floor, it's important that your dress moves well and is easy and you don't have to like readjust everything all the time. So this one, I would say can pass as formal. However, would not work for black tie. It's not dressy enough for that, but I do think that you could get away with it for a formal wedding. This next dress I would say would pass as casual to maybe semi-formal depending on how you accessorize it. I will say with this dress, if you are bigger in the chest, I would probably pass on this because it does adjust so it can move around a little bit. But I think this color is so pretty. It has pockets for your phone if you don't wanna carry a bag. I've got it on with this little clutch from Madewell and I love this bag because it also has a strap so you could stuff the strap into the bag, carry it as a crossbody by the end of the night if you're tired of holding as a clutch, but you can wear it as a clutch. So I think this one would really pass as a semi-formal, casual, like outdoor wedding vibe. It is very, very flowy lightweight and I've got it on with some white heels from Madewell as well. Obviously you do not want to wear white to a wedding, but I do think that you can get away with white accessories. So if you want to kind of brighten up an outfit, I would highly recommend some like white heels or some white accessories and keeping your dress, you know, obviously not white. I can pretty confidently say that this dress will fit in the dressy casual slash semi-formal category. I don't know why there are so many names for wedding guest attire, but I hope this video has been a little bit helpful. Because it's not a full length dress, this would not work for a formal wedding. It would be way too dressy for a casual wedding. So this fits in our like, most weddings are like semi-formal. This fits into that category. Also because it is not white, even if it's showing up on camera a little bit white, this is more of a tan slash beige, kind of like a tweed color. It also is a linen material. And because there's a ton of floral print on it, it's very obviously not a solid white dress. You're gonna be okay wearing this. Because it is a strapless dress as well, I feel like that really dresses it up a lot. It makes it perfect for a summer wedding. I've got it on with some kind of like tweed accessories. So my raffia heels again, and then this YSL bag and I feel like this is a really great semi-formal summer wedding look. Next up is this one shoulder dress and again I think this fits really well into the semi-formal dressy casual category. I love the fit of this dress, the really dramatic ruffle on the sleeve, the tie on the waist, and then also it's a really great length. If you are taller than me, obviously it's gonna be a little bit shorter on you, but because I am five foot two, it does fit a little bit longer on me. I've got it on with the brown accessories, so I have my top handled Polen bag, and then some shoes from Ni Solo, and I feel like this would be a really lovely spring wedding guest look. I guess all of these are wedding guest looks, but I just love this shade of green. It's so, so pretty. It also comes in black, which again would be great as a wedding guest dress, and it comes in white. So if you happen to be a bride, it would be a really wonderful rehearsal dinner dress or bridal shower dress. So this is my next look. This next dress I feel like fits under the cocktail category for wedding guest attire. It is a little bit more dressy in the fabric, but it's still short, so it's not in your formal category. I love this dress though. It's so comfortable. It has a really, really elastic waist to it. So very, very comfy. You can also bring it higher if you want, if you're super short, or you can wear it a little bit lower, just depending on kind of what length you want for it. It has long sleeves and high neckline, which I feel like dresses it up a lot. And when you pair it with black accessories, I feel like it just makes it feel very elegant. So I've got on my black Gucci bag and my black heels from Madewell. And if you wanted to do something even more dressy, you could do like a patent leather heel with it and really dress it up more. So this next dress I feel like could fit somewhere in between semi-formal and formal. 
depending on your height. So if you are 5'2 and shorter, I feel like you actually could get away with this as a formal dress because it is gold and it's more of like a satiny, silky material. It feels a lot more dressed up than a semi-formal dress. However, if you are on the taller side, you could definitely get away with wearing this, I think, at a semi-formal wedding because it would be a little bit shorter on you. So I think that's where the length really plays into what the dress code is. I love this dress though because it is so flowy and comfortable and again would be so fun to dance in. It would be a really great summer wedding guest dress because it is so flowy. The only part that's like tight on you is in the bust. So it's very, very loose, very elegant. And again, because it's got so much reflection to the fabric, I feel like it does dress it up a little bit more and also depending on what accessories you wear with it. So I've got on a beaded clutch that I thrifted years ago and then some strappy nude heels but if you really wanted to dress it up you could just pair it with some nicer accessories or if you wanted to dress it down you could wear more casual accessories so I think that's where accessories and jewelry really comes into play this next dress I would probably categorize as casual to dressy casual only because it feels more like a sundress but depending on the wedding and where it's at this could be the perfect dress for the wedding that you're attending i think it all comes down to the accessories that you use so you did a flat sandal and some kind of woven bag i feel like it could almost pass as like casual because it is just a nice cotton flowy dress because it's a midi length it's not too long however you could definitely get away with this i think in dressy casual as well if it's an outdoor wedding this is long enough to be dressy casual you could dress it up with some nicer leather accessories or a little clutch bag and wear it to a more dressy casual wedding so i feel like dresses can kind of ebb and flow between different dress codes depending on how you accessorize how you do your makeup how you do your hair all that stuff I feel like plays into kind of how dressy or casual the outfit is. So I've got two different silky black dresses to show you guys that I feel like fit in different categories. This one I would consider a semi-formal dress only because it's a little bit shorter and it looks a little bit more like a slip dress. I do think though because it's a thicker kind of silky material, it feels really, really nice. This is the type of dress that I feel like you could really dress up with your accessories or dress it down. It's also a dress that I feel like is super versatile because it is more of like a slip dress style you could wear this out to like a date night and get a lot more wear out of this versus the one that i'll show you after this i feel like is definitely more formal and you wouldn't want to wear to like a night out so this one i've got on with my ysl bag some nude heels and i feel like this fits perfectly in the semi-formal category so this dress is the same concept a black kind of satin silky dress. This one, however, is longer and this one definitely feels way more formal than the other dress. So this one, I feel like you could definitely get away with wearing at a formal wedding. I'm wearing the petite version, but if I wanted it to be a little bit longer even, I could probably get the regular length and that would go all the way down to the floor when I'm wearing heels. However, I think this is a really great length for me. I love the low back in it. It just feels so elegant. And because it has this really beautiful high neckline, that also makes it feel less like a slip dress and more like a formal wedding guest dress. So I feel like this would be a really good option for a formal wedding. I think it also comes in some other colors as well if you didn't want to go with black. I feel like you can never go wrong with black though. Very classic. And I've dressed it up with my Chanel bag and then some black heels. This next dress is older, but it's actually still available. I got this a couple of years ago and I actually wore it to a wedding and I've held on to it since because it's one of my favorite dresses. This one is from Petal and Pup and I love this dress because it's so stretchy everywhere and it's like a really thick material. So you can wear like sticky boobs with it, your normal underwear with it, and it doesn't show anything because there's just so much texture and pattern on it. I feel like this dress falls into semi-formal dressy casual because it is a little bit shorter, but I love the off-shoulder look of this dress, the little puppy sleeves. Got it on with my Aloha suede heels and a little pull-in bag. You could also accessorize it with white accessories. I feel like that would be really cute as well. This is just like such a fun flurry dress. I think I've, have I worn this to two weddings actually? I think I might've worn this to two weddings. So this is like 
I guess one of my most worn <laughs> wedding guest dresses. This is probably one of my favorite dresses at Abercrombie right now because it looks so expensive. It literally looks like a reformation dress, but it is a fraction of the price. This would definitely be appropriate for a semi-formal wedding. It is so elegant. I love the thin straps. The fit of it is really beautiful. And I like the slit in the front as well. I've got it on with some white accessories to pull out the white from the dress. Also, it comes in, I think like three or four different colors. So it also comes in black and white, I believe. So depending on your needs, there's more colors for you. But I just, I think this dress is so, so elegant. It's so lightweight and it's just a really flattering silhouette. This next dress, I would probably put in the category of formal, depending on if you're into the cutout vibe. That's the only thing. It's definitely long enough. The fabric is definitely high quality enough, formal enough for a formal wedding, depending on how you accessorize it. I've got a little beaded clutch on again, some nude heels and just very basic accessories. But I do feel like this is such a fun, like spring, summer formal dress. Cause sometimes formal dresses can feel very formal in the sense that they are just like black, you're wearing a lot of dark colors, whereas I feel like this is still a really vibrant and spring, summer appropriate formal dress. I love the length of it on me. I will say if you're a lot taller than me, it probably won't go to the floor like it does on me, but because it's floor length, it definitely passes as formal. And it's just really elegant. The cutouts are not too intense, not showing off anything that you wouldn't want to be seen. And it's just a very unique dress. I also really love the fabric of it. It's super funky and it just feels like it has a lot of personality. But those are all of my wedding guest dress looks. I hope this video was helpful. And like I said, everything will be linked in the blog post and also in the description box. So be sure to check that out if there were any of the dresses or accessories that you were interested in. Those will all be linked there. If you like this video though, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below if this video was entertaining or helpful for you. And don't forget to subscribe if you are new here. If you want to stick around for some more videos, I do tons of styling videos, how to style, try on hauls, all that good stuff. So be sure to stick around and I'll see you guys in my next one really, really soon. Bye guys.